Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a savory Chinese snack, scallion pancakes. It's not like the Western pancakes you think of made with a batter, but this is an unleavened flatbread folded in with oil and green onions, and it's simply delicious. So let's get started. Okay, so making these scallion pancakes only require five ingredients. I have uh, two cups of flour, um, olive oil, there's salt, scallions, and uh, warm water here. So let's begin with making the hot water dough. So we're gonna mix the warm water in with the flour. It's gonna take a minute. And what this does is um, the warm water cooks the dough a little bit and it limits the gluten development and it helps make the dough easy and smoother to work with. So we're going to continue working the water into the dough and it's shaping up. Don't worry, it's supposed to be a little tacky. I'm going to add a little bit of flour here. And then I'm going to let this rest for 20 minutes and cover it with a damp towel. So in the meantime, let's cut the scallions. I have uh, four sprigs here. Um, the two, the dough we're making is going to be enough for two pancakes. So I intend on using two sprigs for each pancake. I'm going to split the onions in half, and then we're going to mince it up finely. So this whole process will probably take an hour, and you're going to have really tasty scallion pancakes. You'll be glad you learned how to do it. You can make these up anytime. Okay, so let's check back in 15 minutes after the dough has rested. Plow your work surface. Now we're gonna knead the dough for about three to five minutes until it turns into a smooth ball. This is a good workout. That looks really good. It's a smooth ball. So let's put it back in the bowl and cover with a damp towel and let it rest a second time for 20 to 30 minutes. Now the dough is nice and relaxed. Let's roll it out. Put some flour on your work surface. And we're just going to cut it in half. Cover the other half with the towel to keep it moist, not to dry out. So we're going to roll this out to maybe a uh, 12 inch square. This looks pretty good actually. So we're going to add, I'm using olive oil. You'll, you'll, you'll find some recipes, they use uh, sesame oil. I've tried that and I have a preference for olive oil. Plus, you know, I get to get my uh, omega-3s. But you know, there's two pancakes, so I would encourage you to try one using olive oil and one using sesame seed oil and see which one you like better. I'm going to sprinkle some salt. I'm going to add green onions. I like lots of green onions. That looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is roll it from the bottom up and roll it up like a jelly roll. And it's going to roll fairly easy. The dough is really easy to work with. And then at the top, just flatten it out a little bit and pinch the, pinch the ends to seal the oil and the onions. And now we're going to roll it up. It's like a snail shape. And so what we're trying to do is create layers similar to a, a croissant or a puff pastry. So the end here, we're going to tuck it underneath and flatten it with the palm of your hand. Add a little more flour. Now we're going to roll this out. Roll it out to the circumference of your frying pan. Uh, mine's is about nine inches. So anywhere, anywhere between eight to nine inches is good. Okay, so um, preheat your frying pan to a medium, medium heat. And let's get ready to fry this. And what you're going to do is repeat the same process with your second uh, dough. So now we're going to fry the pancake at the oil. And lay the pancake inside. And we're going to cover it. 
let it cook for about um, two to three minutes. We're going to keep the pan covered because the water vapors from the pancake is going to span and that's going to cause the layers to slightly, slightly uh, separate. So that's going to create uh, flakiness and tenderness in the pancakes and it's going to be very delicious. So now let's check the pancake. Sizzling up quite nicely. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, that looks really good. Cover the pan again and let it cook for another two or three minutes. That looks really good. Because I used the olive oil, the surface of the pancake has a little tinge of yellow green color. So let's cover it back up and let it cook for another two or three minutes. So let's check the other side. That looks good. Continue to let it cook. You brush a little more oil on the side. You flip it a few times to ensure that the pancake is cooked. And it's browning up nicely. And what you also do is uh, move the pan around on your stove to cook it evenly, evenly around. I have a hot spot on the far right hand side of my stove. Flip it over. And the smell is really good. You can see the pancake has like the little crusty brown parts, a little mottled. I think it just needs another minute. That's actually done. I'm just using a chopstick and a spatula to kind of crunch it up on the sides. And it's done. We can remove from the heat. So this is the scallion pancakes. As you can tell, it's nice and brown and mottled all over. And if you can see here, it's nice and flaky all around. You see all the edges here. And there's nice layers that are formed. So let's cut it. You just cut it into eighths. You hear the nice crunch? There you go. And here we have scallion pancakes. The flaky, tender, and simply delicious. I hope you enjoy it. So let's see if Shadow likes it. She's had this before. Oh, I can, I can hear the flakiness and it's crispy. Oh. She's chomping. I think she likes it. Thank you for watching all. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. See you next time.